Welcome back to my channel for another video. And if you're new here, hello, my name's Leanne and I create uh, creative journaling videos with a touch of planning and reviews and a bunch of other things relating to creativity and archiving your life on paper. So um, you may have noticed that I participated again in One Book July this year. I love One Book July. Um, I know it's not July as this is out, it's August, but um, I never did my wrap up. And the reason I didn't do my wrap up is because I'm not wrapping up. I am continuing this challenge through the foreseeable future. Um, gonna try till the end of the year, but we'll see how it goes. So basically, um, I am not done the book yet. I have two bookmarks in here. One is for where I'm up to reading, so I'm almost done. Um, I have pretty much just started the last section, I believe. Which, yeah, which is the art, where form it meets function. And then I have this second sticky note here where um, I am up to with notes. And um, so I've taken notes up to the practice part. What I do is I highlight things that stand out to me or things I want to remember about the method, like a digested version of the book that I can look back on. So I highlight those things and then when I take notes, I try to uh, form them into my own words so that they really stick in my brain. And the reason I don't take notes, like, writing while I'm reading is because I'm not always in the mood to do that um, and I'm more likely to just read it and get through it if I don't have to take notes right then. So I'm still using the same book but you may have realized that I changed my cover. Sometimes I get the itch to change up my planner and I realize that it's not always just the notebook um, and the system I'm using, like this notebook and system is working for me. So just putting a different cover on it really helps me. This is a cover by the Leather Quill Shop. I will try to remember to leave them linked below for you to check out. If you hear any bugs or weird noises, I'm sorry, I live on a farm. It just happens and the window's open because it's summer. So. Um, this is the inside here. I just have, you know, various stickers and my little ruler thing and stuff. Basically, it's all the same stuff in the pockets as you saw in the other one. So let's just get into it. This is how July ended up looking. I filled out all my trackers and stuff. Let's go to, this was the start of July. Uh, so I had my monthly layout, pen pal stuff, stuff I was waiting on um, to come to me in the mail. Um, the July prompts, I had my master task list. I realized one page is definitely not enough for my monthly tasks. I write big and I just have a lot of stuff on my plate. Um, so I just, I really focused on, those are journaling pages, I really focused on trying to get a hold of rapid logging and really integrating uh, logging the more personal things, like the things that happen throughout the day rather than just tasks. One thing I really had to retrain my brain on was logging tasks that didn't have to be done today, but just because they came up in my brain and then moving them accordingly. I get really stuck sometimes on just writing down the things I need to do today and everything else just kind of recircles in my head over and over again. Um, so one of the things I did in July was I put extra pages down here. So I only use the allotted number of pages uh, for the July in the because I'm using a Hobonichi. Um, and then I moved to the back and I have some bullet journal notes 
here and then I a little bit of journaling and I continued my dailies I have a wish list there I have a brainstorm page so I really liked mixing everything together but I realized that um, it really didn't work like I like flipping through all the things together so one thing I did for August and I've already made it into the next um, so this is technically September's pages but um, I'm just choosing to ignore that and using the pages as I go so like today is the 13th and I'm already up to almost the 13th in <laughs> the September section um, so I'm really just not putting any page restraints on myself. I have the same thing here. Um, I did two pages for my monthly task list. And as you can see, I may even need a third one. Um, but I'll have to add that in another thing. Then I have notes. And more dailies. Uh, one of the things that I did pick up... Um, this is Patreon Q&A questions for the exclusive Q&A. This is a um, journal release that I'm working on. These are system bullet journal notes. So these were a bunch of notes I took on the book. Um, one of the things I started using um, that I've really, really enjoyed is this Bic four color pen. I know I'm like so late to the multicolored pen game, but I never, they just never piqued my interest before. Um, so these are all ball points. This is just a standard Bic four color barrel pen. I got it at the grocery store for like $2.50. Um, it has black, green, red, and blue. And I just use them for different things. So if I need to make um, a to-do or a note about Patreon, it goes in blue. YouTube goes in red. Green is anything like personal notes, events of that day, just so I can quickly in my daily pages figure out what part of it I might want to revisit that's not task related because that was one of the things I was having trouble finding uh, when I was reviewing my daily pages and just flipping through real fast. It was hard to distinguish tasks between like notes and uh, personal journaling even with the signifiers. So that's what the green color is and then everything else gets written in black um, whether it's for Etsy or Instagram or personal things, laundry, whatever, it gets written in black. And then I just have a highlighter here. I use the pink highlighter if it's a um, cleaning work related task. So um, I have really been enjoying this. There is so much in the bullet journal to unpack. I'm still definitely not a professional or anything at rapid logging. I'm still working on it, but I'm absolutely loving this system. Um, I love just his ideas um, and the philosophy behind what he does. And I'm really excited to finish reading the book, continue to take notes, and just really try to make it um, an overall practice in my life rather than just a planner. So that is why, why blah, 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 that is why I'll be continuing um, the July One Book Challenge basically throughout the rest of the year. If you're interested in following along my journey, let me know and maybe I'll do an update at some point. Um, but overall, I've really, really enjoyed this one book July and I'm really happy that they chose the bullet journal method um, in that it made me unpack the book um, in a way that I hadn't before when I read it previously. So, um, I'll leave this linked below, I'll read the, leave the book linked below, all the One Book July things. I'm going to show you real quick my tabs just because I'm going to get questions. So, if I have a collection I need to go back to, um, I know you can do the index, but if it's something I'm still working with, I do the tab. Um, so like this is my rebranding plan. I have my Alice in Wonderland collection that I'm working on. I have my wishlist tab up here. You can't even see that. There we go. 
Well, I have my wish list tab up here. I'm sorry that you couldn't see. Um, August tab, these are ongoing projects which I need to redo that um, thing. My summer goals tab is back here. My index tab is there. My weekly spread and then extra note pages in the back which I don't really need to tab now since I'm using it all the way through. Um, but it is there. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the update. Um, I hope you had fun in One Book July. I'm still obsessed with watching One Book July videos. I love being nosy and seeing into other people's bullet journals, and I love that I'm not the only one late to the game on the wrap-up. So yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic uh, week, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye!